one of our major objectives is to have Africa contribute towards the development of mankind's destiny. That's one of our major priorities. And we are trying our level best to have this priority executed. Um, we are trying our level best. And where we are today, it's just the start of the trip. We're just starting our journey. Bonyo mera sula munju ya kanyomo nyomo Bwendi kutandi kwa tamulala kanyomo nyomo Bonyo mera sula munju ya kanyomo nyomo Bwendi kutandi kwa tamulala kanyomo nyomo Bonyo mera sula munju ya kanyomo nyomo Bwendi kutandi kwa tamulala The major reason why we are developing space or avi aviation related projects uh, we are trying to develop space science in Africa. This program started um, around two years back. Uh, there was a, a radio station called Simba FM. Uh, it has an astronomy uh, like astronomy session or program where they address astronomy issues. Chris joined that program. He wanted to pass some message that I need people who can join me and we form an astronomy association. My name is Chris Samba, and um, I did space projects from my younghood. Um, I did my first glider when I was 11 and um, which crash landed me somewhere <laughs> so um, I've been doing um, aviation related projects since my younghood I feel I'm at home when I'm doing um, such projects right now our association has around 320 members um, a few of them meet every Sunday um, they meet at Ntinda, where our workshop is. So, what brings us here, mainly, was to carry on astronomy lessons and to see, structure, how the project will move. So we sit here and we sort issues that may have risen around the week. For instance, if there is someone who is sick, who will go there amidst the week, because we are family, we can't say our friend is sick and we keep around pausing. So we come here on Sunday, who is sick, who has lost maybe a friend, what and what, we sort those issues here on Sunday. We come up with what has happened within the week in the space world or in the astronomy world, then local issues, then who are, which visitors are we meeting, how who will work upon them, what are the programs, what is out there, who has launched what, NASA has done this. We come and we look at all those things on Sunday. Mainly on Sunday, we do one astronomy. up 
space, you know, we used to look at, you know, other things like uh, moons for other planets like Saturn, uh, Jupiter, so we enjoy that. We saw, okay, Jupiter's moons, Europa and Ganymede, yeah, that's what we saw. And we also we managed to, to look at the moon and its craters, yeah. Uh, I'm David Nambobi is my family name. Well, basically, we, we are just trying to perfect our skills by making these, those two birds, including this one, to fly in the skies. Flying, it's, uh, it, it's uh, something that is not in the minds of our people. They only know that the only machines that can fly come from abroad. So when we talk, when they learned about us making an aircraft, well, they laughed off their heads, said this technology is not for Ugandans, it's not for Africa. So they don't believe in us. That's the challenge we have with our people. Uh, my name is uh, Ndaula Samuel, I'm 23. I live alone, I don't have a family yet. I went in one of the tertiary institutions called Primary Institute of Applied Technology where I earned a, a diploma in software engineering and internet programming. But from there, then I joined ASRP. It's like we are 33 million Ugandans. If you look at the population of African space research programmers, we are not even making 0.1 of the population of Uganda. Because we are having a lot of problems down here, health, education, security and whatsoever, we have all to concentrate there. There should be a team that will approach skies. That is African space. That's what we are all looking at. Though these problems, we don't know when they will end. So we can't say, let us first finish this. Health issues, education, civil wars, tribalism, poverty. When will it end? Let us, though they appear aside, let us go skies. We can't just wait because we are still having these problems. Organization is not only even to, to represent Africa or Uganda, but the world over. If African space launches, for instance, uh, a, a Dynacraft in the coming future, if we have launched a Skylar, a Skyhawk, uh, stories like Ekonyi, Idi Amin, Telibo, terrorists and other rebel groups will be shunned away and people will look at Africa as not a jungle but a place where one can find solutions. Uh, let us start with the, this is what we call the wing. So these are what we call the tensioners down here the nose, the nose where our engine or where we'll see the prop here but the engine will be inserted here. Here we have put this weight inside here to encompass the weight which will be of the engine. Down here is where the landing gear will be. This is the fuselage where we shall put uh, a glass up here so this is a polythene paper but here we shall put the glass yeah we are not expecting to arm anyone and we are not on mission that we are to face any enemy I'm love with the Ayman love with the Ayman I'm 22 years old. My dad is in UK and uh, my mom is in Uganda. 
the reason why we should explore space is uh, to find out more because I believe there's something that we haven't really found out about like uh, I believe there is there, there is something about other lives you know like you know other creations okay other organisms or living animals living people or you know civilizations up there in you know on other planets I believe that you know the news that NASA gives us about Mars the surface and all everything I just really enjoy that <laughs> enjoy knowing out there you know enjoying to know things about other planets that we are not but then they, re they really help us to you know to see what we cannot see at the moment so our dream is also to do that in the future also we can maybe set machines satellites up there you know strong earth based uh, telescopes so that we could also scan things and also get to know more we really love what we are doing and really believe in ourselves we have determination that one time we shall be somewhere that we dream we are this plane you see here is called uh, it's called a, a skywalk called african skyhawk you see we've had a bunch of visitors around here yeah? we had some guys from cnn um we had some guys from bbc some from bbc uh from al jazeera and some guys we had um, some guys who recorded a documentary um they are from also us we've been having random visitors yeah, of course the president is behind us. Motivates you to. Government has visited us. Um, vice president has visited us. Um, vice president, members of parliament. Many guys have been here. Ministers, what, what? They keep on saying. They, they keep on saying it's good, but they don't do any, you know, funding. So one time the president. They offered, uh, they donated us 140 million Ugandan shillings, but you know what? We didn't touch that. They just kept on saying, "I gave you, I gave you." They didn't release the money to us and all that. So it's like it's words. You know, it's not really money; it's just words. People don't respect policies. They work in a government office as individuals. That is the biggest problem. Actually, the funny wasn't all that good, but we've managed to move ahead because we are determined. Yeah. My name is Niringie Tadias. I'm 27. I live um, in Kamocha. Uh, when I was young, still in school, my father wanted me to be a priest. Uh, but then, since I was into physics and science, I really loved to know much about space and science. Since I was interested in astronomy, being a priest, I never wanted it because really I wanted to learn something which is not very really common here in Uganda. So I wanted to be, to follow my dreams or to follow my heart, not what my father wanted me to be. Inside, this is the cockpit, and inside we shall be installing the instruments. I was going to the university, but then uh, since our family wouldn't support me. Uh, I was paying the school fees would be paid by by my aunt, and then since she also had children, that's why she wouldn't pay my school fees up to the university. But I love really to go to the university because I wanted to continue with school, mostly astronomy. This is where I stay. I would rent a very big house, but then all the money, mostly the big percentage, it goes to the association. It goes to the association of which I'm the one of the guys who are putting much support to the association. We fund ourselves. What does it take? We don't fund the project using money only. We sacrifice the little we have. You may, for instance, the team at in Chimaka, you have to send there. Some people can just buy food. Some of them are working in shops. They get half of what they can get and support the project. Uh, we do lack that funding and. Um, We've managed those who work, eh? 
they, they've managed to bring at least the little they can get to fun getting some materials though at times we may need and we delay economic and political issues they are the biggest problems we are facing and uh, it has made us a bit slow it's something not about money we are trying to move Africa a slight step ahead we might not be able to get it where we need it to be in, in our generation but we are giving the future guys a good start uh, if you think you can or if you think you can't you're you're right uh, my name is Arojas Molino I'm 28 years old um, I live in city center Kampala suburbs around there I have a family I have a family of two kids I'm doing automobile engineering so I'm a good technician and an engineer almost I'm holding a diploma in automobile engineering from Chambogu University. It requires bolts, requires nuts, requires mechanical skills and auto skills since it also operates under autom automotive engineering. It has an engine which also needs to be mechanically operated. Not only aerodynamics engineering, also mechanical engineering is needed in the field. For us who remained here, we had to support the people in Chimaka. So when we sit here on Sunday, what do we really do? We talk to, to the people in Chimaka and they tell us what they want. That today we want material worth it, this that will pass us through the week. Until we meet on what? On Sunday. Where we are operating from right now, this isn't our station. We, we are just here temporarily. Uh, we are based in Tinda. That's, that's an, a, a suburb of Kampala, Kampala city. So the major reason why we are developing space or avi aviation related projects, uh, we are trying to develop space science in Africa. This plane it was an ultralight. It's, it's an ultralight. It wasn't really um, a plane. It was an ultralight and it was an experimental craft. So when we are done with this one, we are going to resume work with the Skyhawk, the other big aircraft in Tinder. We are going to try to finish it up in about a year. Well, the whole world is full of discoveries. People are keen to know knowledge. Knowledge is about discovering and finding new stuff around you. So astronomy is more like discovering what's within our environments, within our planets, so solar system or environments. It's like going into a neighborhood. Before you get used to a place, you have to learn and discover what's within the place you're living in. What we're doing is fun. It's basically cool doing what you like to do or doing what you're best at doing. Uh, I hope our project, our association, will turn into a big scale project like NASA. Is yeah, something probably big as NASA, or more than NASA. I'm mm, so proud of the work we're doing. Yeah. We're taking it. the ground though we are still testing
support life or not um, actually those are some of the reasons why I'm inspired to know more and learn about space running holding our wing at a, a constant angle so I, I got the measurements at three points I imagine three axes at the wing so I measured this distance from the base of the the rooftop so the distance I go to let me call it A then this B then this C so I managed to compute these three distances at a constant speed so we were riding at 40 kilometers per hour so after getting the speed and getting these three figures, I managed to plot them out on a graph, which helped me up to determine what angles we were flying at on average. So with the square feet is to the KM 1.6. <laughs> And this runway, this runway you're looking at here that we are using to test our projects, this runway is owned by the government of government of Uganda. So um, we are using this runway because of the president's office. So it, it authorized us to use this runway. Um, so they just offered us the, the runway and that's it for now. Um, we are supposed to call them when we are done, then they come inspect our work and we don't know what could happen. There is a marked improvement in cloud development over most parts of northeastern Uganda, which are expected to translate into rainfall in the coming few weeks. This was the site yesterday afternoon after the heavy rains in various parts of the city. When the rains come, the coffee growing region of the slopes of Mount Elgon near the Kenyan border are particularly vulnerable to mudslides. The ground movement had been unexpected, striking suddenly Monday after a night of torrential rain. The rains that lasted close to an hour left many places flooded after drainage channels burst due to the excessive amount of water. Right now, uh, we are focusing on restoring this craft that uh, was destroyed by the storm.
My name is Abenon Fred Tuinamasko. I teach physics. I'm an assistant lecturer. So I have an interest in space weather. Uh, my opinion of the program is that uh, according to how they have been moving and how they have been constructing their plane, they seem to be having their goals, you know, focused on their goal. They, they were always having lectures in astronomy with their uh, students, let's say, those who were interested in being there. If you look at uh, how science has been done as a way of just you do science, you don't get uh, much time to do the practicals. If you get the guys who are interested in putting their putting on their overalls and you know do some some stuff, it's a spell. <laughs> My name's are Snan Sentongo. Mbera Boise One Parish. Uh, he's living in from Boise One Parish. Kawempe Division. Kawempe Division. To checking our baba ba yingira. We make security by checking people who are coming in. Those who are not supposed to enter here. To sala wakuleta. So we decided to get a CCTV camera, which one, that one there. Uh, that the planets which we know in the astronomy, are they only or there are some others? And even issues of overpopulation. Can't we get a planet with life and some people go there? Uh, we grow up telling us that uh, those are stars, Mwezi, uh, Luna, that, uh, that uh, on that Luna, when you look at it, there is a lady carrying a baby, carrying a baby with firewood on, according to what you can send to that Luna when you are down. So I got to, I wanted to know exactly what is really behind it. Just like just like everyone has a passion of something, guys have passions of becoming doctors, teachers, soldiers. So I also had this passion of astronomy from my childhood. Because every time I could see, I could hear planes, or I could you know hear planes in the space. When I'm in classroom with the teacher, I could run out and see the uh, the helicopters. I, you know, I wanted to watch planes. I was wondering why do they work, and I can't I can't even jump aloft off the ground. Since my childhood, eh, I liked astronomy. I like to discover what's really happening in the sky to other planets. Uh, we grew up hearing issues concerning space. Then I had a lot of questions that I needed to be answered. Though, so that's one of the issues that inspired me. You see, I used to uh, to help my parents look after gods in the fields. So times like this, from around four up to seven there. So one time when you're grazing the gods, you're relaxing, uh, you'd really sit down and just enjoy the breeze, enjoy the sunshine. And I would really look at the birds flying, especially the eagles. You'd see them enjoy. Sometimes I looked at them and said, hmm, these birds look so cool. I wish one time I would fly like that. So that's how basically the flying, flying dream began. My name is Bob Robert 
why um, I'm 24. At first, when I am still young, I, I love those things, space science, because I, I love that man, the first man to go to the moon. That was Armstrong. I love that guy. <laughs> Some people, they, they have little news about space. When, and when you tell when we tell them about space, they just look as you are crazy. You are talking something which you don't know. That's the problem we have here. We need to teach our people. They need to to understand what this planet Earth has to offer. What is it evolved of? And many other things. In fact, when you tell some some people that we we are in space they may not believe it because this planet Earth is floating in space. Only that we can't, we can't know, we can't know. We have to teach these people about the solar system, about our galaxy and many other galaxies and the stars. There is a lot we need to learn. If you look at uh, all technologies now that we use, for ranging from internet to precise agriculture to precise positioning to surveying to take off and landing of planes, all use space technologies. That's one of the greatest things humans should learn that space has a lot to offer. Yeah, I think uh, what the guys over there are. Uh, are ARSP are doing is, is really it's inspiring in a way that I mean having come to, to work on something to that extent in itself is something which is inspiring even if they never made that plan to fly but have it in a completed and I mean even and make it a monument it would be a, a big deal to have had a team that can put up something but we are standing in as people who are ready to teach them the facts about humanity and the universe. I believe one day and not so far away we shall have a space program. My dream job it was always to be you know a pilot stroke an astronaut at the same time. My dream job is becoming is a programmer Actually, I want to be a pilot. In the space shuttle, my dream job, I want to be an engineer. I really want to be an astronomer. I need a job to become a movie star. <laughs> Since um, many people don't know much about space research, don't know more about astronomy, um, I think they don't do much support because they are not aware of what space really is. We need to teach our people, they need to, to understand. One day we would like to see African Space Research Program as an association to be one of the best. I would wish to have it one day bigger and I would wish it to share its knowledge. It's about doing something for our future generations. One of the greatest things humans should learn that space has a lot to offer. NASA has raised the flag high so one day we are expecting or we would like to see African Space Agency hitting the skies. Um, planet Earth is one big home it's one big home. As the population increases, as you see the degradation of the land, we are becoming many and many people on this planet Earth. So we may not, eventually, time to come, we may not have enough, enough space for everybody. So it compels us as young African space researchers. For the sake of humanity, the survival of humanity, the survival of the human race. One day, it is really, really important to 
perfect our skills in space science. All we are trying to do is to have mission accomplished. That's all. <laughs>